Alright, and welcome back to Taste Panel for Children's episode 216 today. Guys, finally wrapping up the homegrown shows, the last episode there of today. Uh, guys, had a lot of fun doing this stuff, like I said. Uh, but to be quite frank, I'm actually looking forward to getting back to the main gist of the show. Uh, wow, I guess eight sauces had me penned in. That's a lot of sauces to do. I had a lot of fun doing each and every one of them. But man, sometimes enough is enough. And I want to get back to the routine. Alright, well that being said, uh, today we're looking at our last sauce here, the Emerald City. I introduced this one two shows ago if you caught the episode on the Yellow Bell Sauce. Uh, this guy here, almost a sauce made by default. Okay, because in this temporal severe that we live in, all good things come to an end, including my garden. Fortunately, hey, for those of us that have faith in Christ, hey, we can look forward to an eternity with the Almighty. So lots of great things going on there. So not all good things come to an end. But hey, while we serve our time on this planet, uh, we know that all good things are going to come to an end. And again, uh, I talked to you guys several times saying how my first wave of pepper plants died. Uh, had a quick get on the shuffle and get some stuff replanted. Uh, some of that stuff got planted late. And as a result, I didn't get the harvest I was quite looking for. Uh, got some things, but not everything was ripe. Uh, plants affected in my garden this year are the cayenne plants, uh, the habaneros and the chilokias. I got big, nice bushes with flowers and everything. Uh, cayennes look great, except they're green. Uh, my chocolate hops are green. And didn't get any chilokias this year. God, I got a little late on the game of getting those things in again. So, hey, but before the first frost rolls in, uh, which, incidentally, guys, is tonight. So, hey, yeah, the first night they're calling for frost. Uh, it is late October. Uh, picked all my plants, uh, ripe or not. So all the peppers came off. Uh, had also had a, a second round of jalapenos. Lord blessed me this year with lots of jalapenos. Was able to, to uh, capture more of those. Planted some yellow bells. Some turned yellow. Some stayed green. So, hey, all of these green peppers went into the Emerald City. So the Emerald City, again, kind of a pun off of the Wizard of Oz. However, it is a community of different green peppers in here uh, formulating this sauce. So hey, it's a community, as I call, a city. And hey, everything is green. So Emerald fits the bill. And there you have it. So uh, ingredients in the Emerald City. I got some uh, unripe cayennes in there, some green cayennes. Uh, some uh, green habaneros, some jalapenos. I've got a green bell pepper happening in this guy as well. Uh, I've got some honeydew melon recapping that again. Wanted to keep things green just like we did with Green Machine. Uh, got a, a bucket load of uh, those green seedless grapes going on in this. Some fresh onions, some fresh garlic, black pepper, kosher salt. Uh, got some red cayenne powder in this. Uh, Got some white vinegar happening in this one as well. And, uh, yeah, some lime juice going on. Some of the usual stuff in my sauce base. Uh, we have some oregano and some basil in here both. And uh, so everything's steamed green. And, uh, hey, so uh, Emerald City. Let's give this one a go. And uh, see where we stand with the aroma. All right, kind of coming through. Again, kind of that really fresh pepper aroma coming through. Uh, despite the fact that we have all these green peppers mixed together in here, kind of still coming through with that sort of jalapeno type nose. Uh, kind of earthy, kind of tangy. Uh, really fresh, it's fresh smelling, what you think of, a, of, of, of most jalapeno sauces you might smell still bearing that type of thing. Uh, has a nice kind of garlicky, oniony background. And uh, basically that's all we're getting. Uh, the tang may be from some of that vinegar and some lime juice. But again, 
uh, really reminiscent of a uh, of a jalapeno style aroma. So we shall see if any of those other peppers uh, surface at all in the flavors. Uh, this guy here again, kind of chunky, uh, maybe a little more pureed than Green Machine was, but still uh, maintaining quite a bit of chunk. See some black pepper, some seeds, some pepper pulp. So hey, without further ado, hey, the Emerald City. up front again kind of a really catching a tang there uh, no doubt from some of that white vinegar some lime juice uh, again some of the unripe peppers particularly jalapenos may have some inherent tang in them as well uh, that may be surfacing through with this sauce as well uh, real fresh pepper taste kind of almost a, a sweet note up front there too, kind of a a little sweet perhaps, wouldn't say fruity, but almost like a peppery sweetness up front, a sweet pepper type of, of, of flavor. Now the fact that I do have some habaneros in here, uh, not really manifesting itself so much in the heat department, but I am getting a, uh, a slight warmth drifting over the tongue, uh, that may be uh, that may be uh, something to do with the habaneros in here, but uh, uh, not really setting the world on fire as far as heat goes with this. Again, kind of getting a nice oniony, garlicky backdrop, giving us real fresh vegetable flavors. Uh, this guy here, oh, this is a, uh, uh, a, a, a kind of a, a fall or a really, really late summer sauce. Um, kind of at the garden's end, still kind of retaining a whole lot of those kind of fresh, summery, crisp flavors going on there. Uh, a little bit of that black pepper dotting the tongue, picking up a little bit of that in the flavor as well. Uh, you can see again, guys, looks kind of, I kind of, uh, kind of dig the body on this one. Um, again, a sauce that perhaps, uh, perhaps, uh, maybe not a necessity uh, again, perhaps wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have thrown the Emerald City together had I had a, uh, a proper chance to uh, have my peppers mature with more warmth and more sun, and had gone later into the season. But here in the Northeast, uh, we have an early uh, 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 an early fall kicks in, and we don't have too much of an extended summer going on, uh, which a good long Indian summer might have helped me. Uh, peppers I probably would have had planned for other sauces had they ripened, but uh, not the case, and uh, rather than have them die on, on the stalk, uh, we threw together a, uh, a tangy kind of, uh, kind of uh, tongue-clenching, really garden vegetable-oriented sauce here with, uh, with the Emerald City. Again, uh, a sauce really seeming to focus in on on flavor more so than on uh, than on any type of heat going on uh, maybe a little disappointed that the habaneros didn't show their face a little bit better but uh, but then again I didn't have all that many to go around either so uh, yeah kinda came out as a, again kind of a, a fresh tasting jalapeno style sauce uh, uh, has that type of look as well. Uh, could fool anyone if I just said, hey, the only pepper in here is 100% jalapenos. I don't think anyone would really know the difference. So, uh, but uh, hey, it is a community of green peppers, the lovely Emerald City. So, uh, there you have it, guys. My eighth and final sauce of the season. Uh, looks like this is going to be the last homegrown show. Uh, going to get back on track. And uh, again, had a lot of fun. Uh, next season, next harvest time, I might be re-motivated to, uh, to get into the whole sauce making thing and be willing, be wanting to uh, and willing to try other people's creations as well. Uh, that's always a lot of fun to do. But uh, hey, uh, we have a show to run. There's 
business to take care of and hey there's a lot of hot sauces out there that need to be checked out and there's a lot of hot sauces I can't wait to bring to you guys so uh, that's going to be from multiple companies so uh, hey I uh, look forward in the future we're going to get back on track the train will be rolling once again and uh, hope you guys really did enjoy these uh, homegrown shows because I did but hey now uh, now that this is uh, finally said and done looking forward to moving on so hey uh, we'll be back next show uh, with a sauce from uh, from another company, I don't know, maybe Mexico, maybe Australia, maybe the U.S., who knows, man, the panel's going around the world all the time, be back to talk with some more sermons, can't wait to do that again, and uh, hey, bring the word of Jesus Christ to you guys, along with some great hot sauces, so hey, yeah, stay tuned, so uh, till I see you, uh, read your Bible, say your prayers, and I will see you next show. Bye-bye now.